Hi guys, my name is Lacey Rollins and I am founder and creator of Soul Citizen Sandals. This is my first blog. Why am I creating this blog? Three things. Um, I want to talk about my frustrations with creating a new business. Um, I have been, I've had every bump in the road you can possibly imagine. Um, I launched my company in 2012 and it has just been an uphill battle since then. Um, and so this is a really great outlet to talk about you know the things that I'm going through I also have a tumblr blog that I write um, my frustrations out on and I absolutely love it you should definitely check it out um, so the second reason why I created this blog is because I want people to know the woman behind the business I want you to know what I look like um, what I'm talking about I want you to know my frustrations you know, I, I want this to be on a personal level and I want you to know who I am. And then third, if I could help somebody out through this blog, then that would be the best thing for me. Um, you know, I have been highs and lows, ups and downs, and I have pretty much done everything wrong. So if, you know, somebody watches this and they can learn from my mistakes, I think that that would just be the best for me. So that's the reason why I'm starting this blog. So I'll jump in. Um, I created a sandal, I've created sandals, I've created a product that no one's ever seen before. I have, um, I, you know, I had no idea what my sand, I wanted the sandals to look. I've created sandals that have zipper pockets in the upper. So, ultimately, this is, um, I worked with a manufacturer, he's my third manufacturer, and he created a sandal with a pocket inside. And I absolutely love it, except for this isn't leather, and I really wanted to use real leather, and... Um, the workmanship is all right, but it's not great. Um, I've decided not to work with this third manufacturer. I'm working with a fourth manufacturer and um, through an agent, and the agent lives in Ohio. Um, I really like talking to the agent because he's very quick to respond to my emails. Um, I've gotten a lot of really great um, res feedback and response from the agent, except there's like the factory over in China is not flexible enough for me and they do a um, they work differently than the way I am used to um, my first second and third manufacturer were completely different than this manufacturer and the agent that I'm working with now so you know it's very frustrating and I've kind of I'm at the point where like because they want me to shell out money and money and more money and I'm like well can you make the sample and then let me see the sample and and can you fix and change things on the sample and then they want me to like pay for everything and pay for more and more samples and shell out more and more money and I'm like well it's very frustrating and, and I guess I'm just not used to that because I'm used to working with a, a manufacturer uh, and a company that says here's your sample what can we change and we'll change it for free and then we'll give it to you and this this agent and his company they want to make the sample and then send it to you and then make a new sample but you have to pay for the new sample so anyway that's really frustrating and um, I really but I'm at the point where it's like okay just here's the money I just want a sandal and I want to get out there I want to sell these sandals to um, gift shops here in Richmond I live in Richmond Virginia and I want to get it out there and I want to be successful and I want to actually have a successful business and um, and I'm ready to take that next step. I was really scared to kind of take that next step and, and pitch and sell because I've not a, I've never sold anything before. Like my background is in mass communications and um, producing film and television. So I'm not I've never sold a product before, and um, that was really scary for me and it held me back. But now I'm at the point where it's like, okay, give me this shoe in leather and let's go. You know, I'm ready to get out there, and um, and I feel like they're holding me back. And I was also started talking to a fifth manufacturer over in China, um, who I feel like could bring, who could bring, who could do a really good job um, with the quality of the shoes and things like that. But it's like they don't like to respond to my emails, and I send email after email, and then like five days later they're like, oh okay, um, and then they respond back. So it's like really frustrating, and I want to get everything done and I want to do it quickly, and it's March now. Um, today is March 21st. I would like to kind of have samples, three samples, salesman samples, ready by end of March, maybe early April, to go out there and, you know, pitch my sandals to these um, gift shops and say, here are the sandals, and 
you know, summer's coming up, it's springtime now, and you know, this is something brand new that I know that your customers are absolutely going to love, and, and it's different. So anyway, that's where I'm at with my manufacturer. Um, I just want to get out there and just kind of take the next step, because I've been at this step for so long, and it's really frustrating, you know, like, two and a half, three years is a long time to be still at the first step. Um, I might have these sandals right now, but I'm, you know, I want a quality, I want the quality to be better. So anyway, that's what I'm kind of going through now. I've kind of been stewing for the last two weeks with this, uh, what I talked about. So it's good to get it out there. Um, and uh, so we'll see. So hopefully next week when I talk about, you know, my next blog entry, when I talk about my manufacturer and sandals, hopefully it'll be something positive. Hopefully I'll have some leads on you know, like, like the agent's supposed to be sending me the samples. So hopefully I'll have, hopefully I'll have an email saying they're sending them to me next week. You know, um, but we will see. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, there definitely will be more to come. I'm definitely going to be talking about my frustrations more. So um, thanks.